Hello friends, I'm John Laspina, the carnivore teacher. Happy Memorial Day to those of you who live in the United States of America and to my friends around the world. I want to share with you what Memorial Day is in the United States. A lot of people in our own country, we think it's just about cookouts and the beginning of summer. And being a carnivore, I love a cookout. I love cooking my meat on the grill every day of the year. But Memorial Day is a traditional time when family and friends gather, people travel to meet up, and they have a great cookout. And it's the beginning of summer in the Northern Hemisphere here in the U.S., and uh, it's a happy time. The sun is shining. But let's take a look at what Memorial Day really is. Now, I'm going to give you 12 facts about Memorial Day, for those of you who don't know, in the United States or elsewhere. Number one, a celebration similar to our modern Memorial Day might have started in ancient times. Fact number two, one of the first Memorial Day celebrations in the United States was newly freed enslaved men, women, and children on May 1st, 1865 in Charleston, South Carolina. And that was when slaves were freed, emancipation. That was the first idea of Memorial Day. Number three, the observance of Memorial Day was originally called Decoration Day. And people would go out to the graves of veterans who died in wars to protect us and give us our freedom and decorate their graves. Number four, it was Union General John A. Logan who called for an official nationwide day of remembrance on May 30th 1868, a date chosen because it wasn't the anniversary of a particular battle. Fact number five, in 1950, our U.S. Congress passed a resolution requesting that the president issue a proclamation calling on Americans to observe Memorial Day as a day of prayer for permanent peace. Fact number six, in 1966, Waterloo, New York, was officially declared the originator of Memorial Day. A lot of people don't know that. Number seven, Decoration Day only recognized fallen soldiers of the Civil War until World War I. So all of the wars between the Civil War, we had the Spanish-American War as well, and other little skirmishes, up until World War I, and that was it. That's fact number seven. Fact number eight, President Bill Clinton signed the National Moment of Remembrance Act in 2000, which asks Americans to pause and observe a national moment of remembrance at 3 o'clock p.m. local time to them. Do we do that today? We should, because that was actually called for in 2000. It's almost like a moment of silence at 3 p.m. Number nine, cities across the country host Memorial Day parades, but some of the largest parades take place in Chicago, New York, and of course, Washington, D.C. Memorial Day is huge. The big holiday, the banks are closed, post office closed, the stock market is shut down, the schools are closed. Number 10, the president requests that all governors of the United States and the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico direct the flag to be flown at half mast until noon on Memorial Day on all buildings, grounds, and naval vessels. So the flag, if you pay attention, it's at noon, half mast, half staff, and then it goes up for the rest of the day. Number 11, Memorial Day is one of the few days that flags are ordered to fly at half staff and then full staff. So for part of the day, half, and the rest of the day, full staff. And number 12, the last one, one sacred tradition of Memorial Day is that the president places a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. This is in our Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, in the United States, where our soldiers are buried, many of our soldiers are buried. It's called the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And there's actually three bodies and three tombs. And they used to be unknown because they were from different wars and we didn't know who they were. They were just remains. And so we would, uh, over the years during Memorial Day and other, like Veterans Day, we would present a wreath and the changing of the guard would continue to happen. This guard walks in front of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier every minute of every day of every year, and, and has been for decades. Rain, sleet, snow, sun, it's a wonderful observance and dedication to our slain soldiers who died to preserve our freedom. In the United States, we like to say that our freedom is not free. It was paid for by the blood and sweat 
of our servicemen, our soldiers, over the many years and the many wars that they have fought. And this Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is now known because of DNA. Ever since the DNA sequencing occurred, they actually took some of the remains out. We now know the names of those people who were in that tomb. We still call it the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and we still present a wreath in a moment of silence and prayer. And so I personally would like to thank all of the present alive veterans and current soldiers who are serving. Thank you for your service. And remember, today is Memorial Day. We are remembering in memoriam all of our soldiers who died to give us our freedom in the United States. Happy Memorial Day, Americans, and uh, everyone else have a wonderful day.